I want to introduce you to the rocking chair concept. It's something that I've, I've created to help my students understand the ability to stay balanced and keep their center of balance throughout when pressure is being applied to them or they're applying pressure to someone else, whether they happen to be taken back a little bit or whether they are the ones that are taking someone else backwards. If we look at this diagram here of the bottom of a rocking chair, there's one point right at the center that the rocking chair rests upon. All right? We do not, as Wing Chun practitioners, want to allow ourselves to rock backwards or to rock forwards at any time. Whether that's, again, pressure being applied to us or we're applying the pressure or a little of both. We want to maintain in the center of balance, and that is right here, the center of balance, right there the whole time. So what would you do instead if somebody pushes you back? You're, you're going to maintain in your structure. You're going to maintain what I call unbendable with your structure. Um, additionally, when you come forward, you're not going to come forward with leading with your head because then you would be rocking forward and pushing. Um, as you come forward, you're going to maintain that center of balance as you're advancing. Um, so this is the rocking chair concept and it's very, very important that, that you keep your mind and maintain your center of balance no matter what's going on throughout sparring, no matter what's going on on the dummy. You see a lot of people when they're practicing the dummy, they lean in like this. They're just not paying attention to this rocking chair concept. So a simple little thing that you can do to improve your Wing Chun right away. And then because of that, you're going to be giving less struggling energy to someone else. Get more free Wing Chun lessons at learnwingchun.com.